my name is Jerome. I'm a family man, community builder, charity mentor, leadership trainer, and entrepreneur. With 7.5 billion people and 380,000 new births each day of each year, why do we not see evolution in action? The first humans who supposedly evolved around a million years ago did not become the current human form until about 50,000 years ago. The images of the two are quite different. Many, many evolutionary changes had to occur over that time frame. If evolution continues to happen, and there is no reason to say it has stopped, we should see some form of evolution almost daily, somewhere in the world. We do not. We do not see people developing sonar skills like a dolphin, or echolocation like a bat, or wings like a bird, or fast running muscles like a cheetah, or a strong sense of smell like a dog or anything. What we actually see are more and more genetic defects. We are actually seeing more and more genetic defects. We are getting worse devolving instead of evolving, exactly opposite of evolution. Each generation of offsprings carry the defects of the parents, plus this new generation develop their own new defects. Thus, each generation accumulates more and more defects. An alternative theory is that humans and all creatures were created fully formed like we see today but with some ability to differentiate. This change is a change within a species, not evolving to a new species. Since the creation, all human and animals are decaying, sometimes adapting and changing, but not evolving. For example, a wolf lost genetic information and changed into a dog. Today, we breed dogs to get a great variety of dogs, but they are all still of the same kind of animals. We are losing abilities and getting sick more often. We are born with more and more genetic defects. This exactly matches what the Bible tells us. The world was perfect, but has been running down, decaying almost since the beginning. There is not and never had been any evidence of evolution taking place. This image shows how defect multiplying in population. The exact same picture could show how evolutionary changes occur. The problem is we have never, not once, ever seen such a thing happen. There's no evidence at all, despite many attempts to find one or to stretch the definition of a mutation into the evolving of new functions. The Museum of Natural Science and History, when built, will present the scientific evidence that has been stated here today in much more detail. We need your help. Will you help us share this and many other truth? Donate today to see the museum built to become a reality in the next few years. By knowing the truth, by helping to spread it, we can each do our part to better our world for everyone. Please donate and support us as you are able to. Thank you.